Oke, kita sudah keluar dari Kita keluar dari True The Lens of Time Ini no electronic device beyond this Ini black Oh, ini black lake facility So Ini black lake Tapi nggak bisa dipotoin. <laughs> Kenapa? No electronic device. Kita nggak boleh recording. Nggak boleh recording. Ini film Showingnya antara Agus atau ini. Tapi ini main cinema 10 Februari. Iya. Cuman sinema mana ini? Sinema sini. Ini oh ini ada ini mah, ada pesawat nih. Pesawat. Ini asli enggak sih? Dulu mah segede gini ya pesawat tuh. Jet tempur. Ini dulu kecil banget ya. Ini Link Bridge. Ada ini yang itu. A4 Shock Hulk Bofor 76 Level Gun Red Square. Sakti Military Institute Ada AMX 13 Kita lagi ngantri Iya yeah. Di dalam rame Kita sekarang lagi ngantri Mau Sakti Tour Jadi kita mengelilingi uh, Kompleks Sakti Military Apa namanya Military Academy ya Institut Ini sih Baik Kita terus Oke, okay, kita mulai itu. Jadi habis ini. Oke, saya mau ke ada depan, kita ke di belakang. Ini Sakti. Oke, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Sakti Basco. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yong Wei and I'm your Basco today. Now to make it easier to remember Yong Wei runs with your way and my surname is Tan. Hopefully this session is Tan the Wei. Now first thing first, where are we going? I see quite a few young ones, huh? Do you guys know, that, especially the young ones, where are we going? No idea, your parents drag you here. <laughs> okay, take note now, huh? we are going to Safi, okay? Singapore Armed Forces. Okay. So what does Safi mean, especially for the young ones? To make it simple for you to understand, it is a military school only for military officers. Okay. And what's so special about it? Take note, it is a very, very special school because it doesn't only train one force, it trains three forces together. Yes, it's a tri-service nature academy. It is Army, Navy, and Air Force. Okay. So later you guys will help me out. Why? Because the symbol for this military institute is a triangle. That's why you'll find a lot of triangle all around later on. You'll we'll find them out together. Huh? Okay, now we are entering into the military institute. Now, be rules to take note for so your own safety while the bus is moving. Please stay seated at all times, okay? Now, this military institute, the idea of creating a tri-service nature academy, was created in 
now this area is for the officer and officer cadet to carry out their sports activity and also to carry out their training. But more important, all soldiers must pass a physical test before IPT, Individual Physical Proficiency Test. So beside the stadium very soon, you'll see a set of colorful workout stations and those are the IPPT stations, okay? So the soldiers over here will have to come over here and pass their physical test once again. Now next, how big is something? It's approximately about 88 hectares. How big is 88 hectares? Look at this big open field over here. This is about the size of two soccer fields and 63 of such fields is 88 hectares. Now, think about it guys. Do you think 88 hectares is enough for training for a cadet and officer? What do you think? Is it enough? Not enough, huh? Why? Because we're talking about three services, Army, Navy and Air Force. Made in a place, a space approximately four times the size of Singapore. And Singapore is just too small. Therefore, a lot of our officer and officer cadet will have to go overseas for training. Now, on this left side, this great building is the Warriors Hall. There's a lot of indoor training facility and like gymnasium and also rock climbing facility. And also, the, during the parents' visiting day, that is the whole up area. Huh? Now, holding area. Now, there's a now we're going to pass by our first school. It's called OC as Officer Cadet School. Now, everybody take a good look at your left side for this building. It will signify that it's the foundation. They deliberately built it to be the longest building that is 200 meters long. The longest building you can find in something. And everybody, we've got a task for you. Huh? Look at the middle of the building. Represent Army, Navy, and Air Force. Okay, 60 meter tall. And take note, everybody. Do you notice the window up there? The three windows, huh? Take note from the military education. The highest military education one could ever receive is up there on the hill. Therefore, making it the most senior ranking and important school. Now, that is for the Go King Suite to run and staff college. So, who is Dr. Go King Suite? Dr. Go King Sui is the first minister of interior and defense and the pioneer who started Singapore Armed Forces and National Service. That's why to commemorate him, we named the building after him. Now, guys, think about it. They passed by level one, level three. What level is missing? Two. Yes. So, as the bus is rolling down the hill, this is SAF Advanced Schools. Okay, so this is level two. Okay, do you think we'll see any soldiers today? No, because they book up on Friday, they will only book back in on tomorrow night. Okay, but let's look at uh, areas, the accommodation blocks that they are staying at. You will notice that it's divided up into three clusters of colors. Okay, this is the pink cluster and yellow cluster on this side, and further down later, you'll see the green cluster. Okay, so Army, Navy and Air Force, the Army cadets with the most number of manpower, they will stay at the pink and green cluster. Whereas for Navy and Air Force will join together and stay at the yellow cluster. Now, two cadets will share a room and the red building that is coming up on the right side, that is the dining hall. That they can host up to 1,500 personnel at a time to have their meals. Now, we also have female cadets. Where will the female cadets be staying? Generally, the female cadets will be staying at level 4. Okay? So now, since we have now passed by the area, we also talk a lot about their training. Okay? They also conduct some of the training over here. So on your uh, left side very soon, you'll see some training sheds. Okay? That is for mission briefing and weapon handling. Okay? And you can see some camp craft over here. Of all this wooden structure, this is a camp craft huh? for camp craft lesson. Okay, now since we mentioned about national service earlier, national service started in 1967. Okay, first batch of men is 9,000 men. 
Now I will need your help to make a guess since it's... Ah, there it is. It is the AMX-13 tank, okay? Representing the army. Next, we have the A4 Skyhawk representing the Air Force. Now, special mention, ah, because as we inch forward, beside the staircase left and right, you'll see two 25 pounders. But why special mention? Because further in, you also have your coconut tree, cocoa tree, durian tree stew, okay? And on this side, the other side, those are pandan leaves, more pandan leaves. Now, take note, so in this area, there's a lot of fruit trees and spices. Why? Because before it was a military institute, it was a fruit plantation at the Anna guys, seru ga? 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 Jadi kitanya ga bosen gitu jadi... Oh ini ada tulisan SDC nih. Kita nunggu Twitter apa mau kemana? Ini ternyata ada pedal board. Ya lagian kalau hujan... Kalau hujan nanti... Ada Pinocchio. Oke, okay, kita sudah selesai dari exit ke teater. Dengan trennya di sini, exit ke teater. Body motion. Gimana? Seru? Seru nggak? Seru mama? Gimana? Lebih seru lagi kata kita habis. Bagaimana lagi? Gak tahu mana lagi itu ya? Lihat keluar nggak? Kamu di sini mau dah? Ya ini belum nih ya. Hotel at all the blah 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 the blah the blah. Ada namanya hotel at all. Wah ini dari benang lagi. Kenapa benang ya? Nah, ini buat pemintalan origin silk screen printing stretch for this. Oh, lihat ini. Oh, ini solar panel nih. Wow. Ternyata ini solar panel, guys. Floating solar panel. Kenapa kah floating? Floating solar panel mah. Oh, dari sini ya, lihat. Nih, ini tuh Floating solar panel. Ini tadi diskap. Ini ini tu floating solar panel. Ini tadi discovery centernya di situ. Eh bukan itu ya? Terus jalan keluarnya ke situ guys. Enak sih, sepi, sepi sepi. Ini ngapain ya? Oh ini kalau mau naik. pedal board itu recommended nggak? recommended karena yeah. banyak yang gratis ya bagus juga bagus bagus tadi ada ada uh, bastur uh, saf 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 si bastur itu benar-benar bagus karena knowledge kita jadi tahu tentang military uh, institut yang di Singapura tiga uh, tiga institut disatuin army navy dan air force ya. Terus kita juga tadi masuk ke SD for uh, for the uh, theater. Kita militer nontonnya yang military defense SD the theater for uh, the. Terus habis itu kita ke lens of time. Through the lens of time. Nah itu tentang saya sekarang. Ya sejarah Singapura. Jadi diliatin di apa tu namanya di Uh, dari pakai proyektor pertama Singapura ditemukan, ditemukan ya. oleh Sang Nila Utama Sang Nila Utama itu by the way dari Indonesia Sumatera ya Sumatera nah, dari kerjaan pecahan Majapahit itu kan sih ya gitulah terus ya udah di situ ada ada permanent exhibition tapi agak sepi jadi kita nggak masuk ke dalam ya banyak sebenarnya banyak lagi Bikin ya berpikir. ada ini juga ada teater juga teater Uh, terus apa lagi restoran ada di dalam lah terus ada black uh, apa blacksmith nah, 
bukan black uh, apa gitu tadi yang nggak boleh pak bawa HP itu? Oh ini apa? Ada escape room juga escape di sini, room. ada beberapa escape room. Tapi kita nggak coba lah, ada. Uh, cukup hmm, Sekarang mau sholat. Oke, okay, sampai di sini dulu. Semoga video ini bisa menghibur kalian. Jalan-jalan kita dari uh, Papua Indonesia Channel di Singapura. Until next time.